Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie Lamb. This is Dr. Michael Lamb. We're here to talk about the safety of vitamin C. Now, there are a lot of people using high doses of vitamin C. Is that really safe? So what, what constitutes a high dose of vitamin C? Well, uh, an orange is 75 milligrams to 80 milligrams. And uh, because of that, the RDA uh, recommendation is that is the uh, recommended dietary allowance per day. Mm -hmm. We know that a body under stress uh, will need in a human equivalent form based on animal studies up to two to 3,000 milligrams a day. And if you have more uh, functional uh, disparity going on, such as when you have, you have cancer, etc., or other more serious chronic disease that deplete your body of electrons, then you may need more. Now remember, um, chronic disease such as fatigue, uh, aging process, uh, cancer, uh, it works by reducing electrons in your body. And the more you are able to supplement the electron by various ways, including but not limited to vitamin C, then the better the body has the gasoline mm -hmm. uh, to get moving along. Mm -hmm. Well, the question is what is, um, what is considered much, okay? Now, you have to understand that vitamin C goes into the body, we talked about donated electrons, and then the rest is then broken down into smaller pieces by uh, many metabolic pathways and eventually leaves the body through the kidneys. So the amount of uh, vitamin C that you need is, it should be said that is the amount that you need to be able to produce the body's energy supply and at the same time be able to be getting rid of properly and promptly. So there's two parts to this. One, it has to be able to don't deliver, cross the cell walls, give up the electrons. Number two, the remaining part has to leave the body because if the remaining part does not leave the body fast enough or properly, then you can get into trouble as well. Mm -hmm. So for most people in healthy state, one, two, three thousand milligrams is considered uh, quite normal. In fact, nowadays you can hardly even find a vitamin C tablet that's under 500 to 1,000 milligrams. And they come in many, many forms. And that's not like eating like 30 oranges. Yeah, right? I mean, you simply cannot do that. Uh, so, so supplemental vitamin C in that respect uh, starts usually at 500 to 1,000 milligrams and uh, depends on the body. Everyone is different. Some people, they can tolerate only up to a few thousand or um, some people, they can tolerate hundreds of thousands, you see what I'm saying, by IV. So what you're talking about is like absorption whether it's through oral or through IV, and then use utilization of the vitamin C and an elimination, right? Yes, this whole process has multiple steps. It's not very simple. And that is why when you ask a simple question, well, how much should a person take? There is really no simple answer. And the reason is, very, uh, is, is factual in the sense that if you have a body that's weak, if you cannot absorb vitamin C, then no matter how much you put in, you, you're not going to be able to bring it to the cell, so it's just useless. Mm. If you have a body that can assimilate but cannot get rid of the metabolites, then you can get into side effects of vitamin C. Mm. If you have a body that's super weak and the, the cells are very, very sensitive, an even small amount of vitamin C can cause what we call hyper-exaggerated uh, response. So. Uh, and, and likewise, if you have, for example, some receptor sites uh, difficulties, then vitamin C can behave paradoxically. So the, the, the simple answer to your question is there is no set rule. Mm -hmm. Everyone is different. And we go to a great extent in our clients to, is to figure out what their body actually can tolerate, to what degree, under what delivery system, under what timing and frequency so that we get the maximum benefit uh, from this wonderful, wonderful compound, mm -hmm. uh, along with other things, okay? Uh, it's not a matter of just, okay, you, 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 you go to the supermarket, you go to the uh, health food store and just get this and then start swallowing because it works for your friend and you read about it. Uh, it's, it's of very little benefit if you just do it like that. Wait, so you're saying that um, vitamin C might be safe, but it might not be if you don't know what you're doing because everybody is different and we have to be able to help each body differently. Yeah, we, we, we have people who can tolerate 1,000, 3,000, 5,000 
on the the other extreme, I have people that can hardly tolerate any. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it is very important that you have to know your body. And in the training fatigue, it is so critical because you know you don't have much room to move around, especially if you're weak and tired. And you take the right things, it can help your body greatly. But if you do the wrong things, it goes kind of backwards and you can crash yourself. Uh, it's not unusual for people with advanced adrenal fatigue to take vitamin C and become more anxious, more jittery, mm -hmm. uh, even uh, trigger uh, panic attacks. Mm -hmm. So the safety is there. Unfortunately, this is not like a drug. This is a natural compound. It has to react with your body. So there's no straight uh, linear uh, formulation uh, that we can give you uh, if you are in this situation. So that's the safety of vitamin C, especially if you have adrenal fatigue. And we're here to help you through that journey on your health journey.